Um, I'm going to do a question now out of October 2014 exam. The question asks, given a Keynesian model of an open economy, illustrate on the following diagram the impact of an increase in the marginal propensity to import on the equilibrium level of income. Remember to label your diagram. Okay, so how you go about with this, with any question about a diagram, is firstly that you have to label your axis. Now in the previous question, we said that a Keynesian model um, label the axis with spending and income. So on the y axis we write spending, it's abbreviated with an A, and on the x axis we write income. It's abbreviated with a Y. And then remember just to write zero at the origin to show this is where both income and spending is zero. Now remember, in a Keynesian model, equilibrium is where spending is equal to income. And if I'm going to plot all the points where spending is equal to income, I'll get a 45 degree line. I like to make this line a dotted line. You can make it a full line as well. Because it doesn't actually exist. It just shows you where potential equilibrium could be. Next step is to make the spending line. Again, the spending line does not start from the origin. It starts at a positive value because of a time of spending. There's always a certain amount we're going to spend irrespective of our income. Even if income is zero, we would spend a certain amount of money. We would borrow that money. Then the spending line is positive sloped. Oh, a bit skew, but it's there. It's positive sloped, but pretty flat, because for every extra rand I get, I spend only 90 cents. Where does the other 10 cents go to? I save it, or you're supposed to save it. Then I'm going to name the skew line. You can use a ruler in the exams. I'm going to name it A1 because that's my first spending line. And over here, it's the only place on this line that's in potential equilibrium. So that's my first equilibrium point, And I have an income here of Y1. Now the question asks, Given the Keynesian model of an open economy, meaning we trade with the rest of the world, illustrate on this diagram the impact of an increase in the marginal propensity to import, meaning we import more of, the richer we get, the more we import. Okay, so like I said previously, spending is equal to consumers, investors, government, exports and imports. Investment is autonomous, government spending is autonomous, export is autonomous. Consumption has an autonomous part, but also an induced part. And we are very interested in imports in this question because it also has an autonomous part and an induced part. This question says the induced part increased, meaning Z increased meaning A decreased. Why? Because we minus Z. So if you minus with a larger number or variable, then, then it would decrease, the total would decrease. So we now know this line is going to decrease, but we also know nothing happened to autonomous. I didn't change, G didn't change, X didn't change, autonomous imports and autonomous consumption didn't change. So my intersect here is going to be constant. It's going to be the same. But my slope is going to be even flatter. Here we go, A2. Show with an arrow, show it. Let me know you know what you're doing. Show clearly that it decreased. And indicate the new equilibrium very clearly. Show the new level of income. Now. For this, you'd get three marks. The first mark would be if you have the correct axis, if you have an, an um, equilibrium with an income level and everything is correct, kind of, you draw the graph correctly. Second mark would be if you draw this line that it pivoted 
around this intersect, meaning the intersect stayed the same, but the line decreased. And the last mark would be if you actually answer the question by saying income, the equilibrium level of income decreased. Now, remember, in past exams, we asked you to draw the gra graph, not explain it. But in future, we might also ask you to explain it. It's actually very poor economics if you don't explain a graph. So for this graph, I would say, in the above graph, or the Keynesian model, we can see an initial spending line of A1, with an initial equilibrium of E1, and an equilibrium level of Y1. Then, um, induced imports, or the marginal propensity to import, increased, meaning imports increased, meaning spending decre decreased. But the intersects stay the same, uh, and now we're at, at line A2, with a new equilibrium of E2 and a new equilibrium income of Y2, which is less than the previous equilibrium income. Thank you.